Okay, guys, now that we have all this stuff done here, what we want to do first is, remember all the screws that you had over here? You had one that was uh, shorter with a wider top. We want to go ahead and take that one and go ahead and mount this right now because it needs to hold the flight controller in. So before we put the camera on, let's go ahead and take that one screw, the shorter screw with the wider top. Let's go ahead and go to the front hole of your flight controller and just tighten this one down. It's going to go through the standoff and it's going to tighten straight into the frame. Okay, you don't have to tighten it too tight. But basically, it's going to hold this flight controller in place as we continue working. Okay, so make sure that you have this screw in place first, all right? Once we have that done, now we're going to go ahead and get started with the camera. So let's go ahead and grab the camera and let's point out a few things on here for you. First of all, the camera antenna is at the top. There's a button here on the side of it, and this changes your channel on the camera. And then this is your cord for power that's going to plug into the board in just a little bit, okay? First thing we need to do is we need to go ahead and get this mounted. So take your canopy and uh, turn it upside down and well actually if you look at the top here, you're going to see where the hole is this is the hole on your canopy where the antenna is going to come out of and if you look right here on the side of your canopy there's a slit here with a piece of plastic that you can press that is to line up with the button on the side of your camera so that you can change your channel so go ahead and put your camera in make sure you fit that antenna through that hole right there and the best way to figure out how to line this up is to is if you look at the canopy here you're gonna see two areas where you're gonna screw down the, uh, the mount, which is this plastic mount. Make sure the center of the camera between the two boards is roughly between those two, um, those two uh, areas to tighten down. So it should look something like this, and I'll give you an idea here. It should look just like this. Something very similar to that, and I'll zoom in here for you guys to see, okay? So you've got your two mounts here where the screws are going to go in this hole and in this hole. And this mount right here is going to fit on top like that. Okay, and it's going to tighten it down. You also want to check, whoops, I pulled mine out here. You also want to check and make sure that as you're tightening this down, that the, the slit right here is lined up with the button so you can press it. Now it's going to move as you tighten it. And I like to use some hot glue at this point to hold it in place. Let me go ahead and zoom out now, and let's go ahead and get this mounted, and I'll show you exactly what I do when I'm using it. If you have hot glue, it'll help you a little bit to hold the camera in place. If not, it's no big deal. It's not necessary, but here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use my hot glue. I'm going to line the button up, okay, because I want the main thing is I want to be able to access this button to change the channel on my camera. Once it's lined up, I'm going to go ahead and take my hot glue gun, and I think it's been turned on long enough to be uh, warm. Now. Yep, okay, and I'm just going to run a little bead of glue right here and I'll run it right here and I'll just let it sit a minute okay because I want the camera to stay in place big biggest thing is that I want it to stay in place and it's gonna move a little bit as we start tightening it down so this has been a pretty good way for me to make sure it stays in place make sure if you do do this uh, with the hot glue that you make sure the camera is about as straight as it can be and remember the camera will not come past this plastic piece so don't try to push it forward it's just going to line up pretty flush with it. As you can see now, my camera's stuck in place. So now what I'm going to do, and if you don't use a hot glue, that's fine. You can still do the following step. Take your uh, bracket here, and what you're going to notice is that the bracket has a ridge. That ridge, the bump, is going to go down into the camera, and it's going to go between the two boards. So just put that in place, and the screw holes will line up. And get one of your screws and a Phillips screwdriver, and get ready to put this on. You could start the screw ahead of time if you want like that to make it easier to line up. Just start it. Okay. There we go. Now place the next part over the other screw hole. Get another screw. Put on the screwdriver here. Line it up. Just like that. And now you can tighten both of them down, okay? And there you go. Your camera is now on. The button is now lined up so I can press it and you can hear it click. Okay, and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna come back and put it all together and make sure that everything is set up and show you how the batteries work. So we'll be back in just a second.